is a key issue in the state of Utah with snowpack discussions at the forefront. But how do we know exactly what our snowpack looks like and what are we going to face this year? Fox 13 News reporter Spencer Joseph has some answers after getting an up-close look at one of the 137 places around the state where the data is collected. On the slopes of Powder Mountain Resort, in a place only reachable by snow machines. It's a little low, but within reason. Sits one of Utah's over 130 snow tell sites. One of the things that we are seeing across the state is a really large change from year to year. A lot of interannual variability in what we're getting. It's just a poking hole in the snow. We're really looking at these on a daily basis. Equipped with a lot of instruments. Right in the middle here behind this tower is our snow pillow. Uh, the short one there is a is a secondary temperature sensor. And that's an acoustic sensor and so then we can solve for depth and that's what we're looking for. That's the depth of water that's actually in this snowpack in particular. We're getting 19 inches of sweet over there, a little less over here. This site is one of the newest. We didn't have good uh, observations in this corner of the state. In a long history of measuring. And that goes back to the 1920s in Utah. With lots of data. Of course, there's a range of possible outcomes. The scientists in me just wanted to include this graph. And what this site and all of the others are pointing towards is this. I think we already know we're not in the best shape from a snowpack perspective this winter. Uh, it's not as bad as it could be, but we're at about 88% of normal. Right now, all of the state is either in moderate, severe, or extreme drought. About 42.5. This site measures the snowpack that feeds into Little Bear and Ogden Rivers. We just haven't continued to, to get the snow. 42 and a half. Even though soil moisture is up, our reservoirs are so low. That directly impacts the Weber Basin Water Conservancy District. We are looking at uh, definite restrictions. Based on the outlook right now from this site and those like it, the plan is for them to make cuts. 60% on irrigation, 40% on agriculture, and 10% on drinking water. But as more measurements are taken, uh, 45 and a half. more data is collected. And because of sites like these, we know more and can plan better. Well, I know that that's 80% of normal, and I know that the last time it was 80% of normal, we had to use this much water for X application. That's where it starts to really be meaningful, I think. While it's all just a prediction right now, it's a good bet that Utahns this summer will have to face some water restrictions and that our drought is going to continue. At Powder Mountain, Spencer Joseph, Fox 13 News, Utah.